Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. My consultant in this segment is Anne Nikesa Obara, a business consultant. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We're talking about dreams uh, today. You know, in the earlier segment, I was speaking to uh, Reverend Dr. Elizabeth uh, Wahome and everything that she spoke about originated from a dream, from a dream, from a dream. And maybe let's just start by defining when someone says a dream, what, what do they mean? When an entrepreneur says, I have a dream, or I would like to, I have a dream, I have an idea of something I'd like to do, uh, most of the time it is either a, a dream they've had because of an experience in their past. And uh, it's something that did not go well and they, 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 it was a problem and they have a dream that no one else should go through that problem again. So they create, they decide, like the person who created a car realized, we don't know, I don't want to be walk, people to be walking. So usually a dream can come about based on an adversity that someone has had and they are creating a, pro, a solution to a problem. Or it can just be uh, something that, an, in, an, an inborn desire that you have based on a skill that God has given you. For example, a person who's very good at, let's say, making clothes will always have a deep desire, a dream in their heart to become a fashion designer. Or somebody who's good with their hands might decide to become a, 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 an engineer. So usually it's something either you have an inborn desire, it's a skill you have and you want to birth it and let the society benefit from it. How do you transform? translate a dream to reality. With reference to the story of uh, Reverend Dr. Elizabeth Wahome, you, uh, she first had a dream that she was counting money. And uh, to some extent, that would relate to being an entrepreneur or someone in business, someone who will control, someone who will be used to control a lot of money. Now, it's not enough just to have that dream and sit on it. Uh, if, you're a, if, you're, if you're someone who's spiritual and you believe in God, it's very important that when you, when you have a dream, to pray so that God will give you direction how to begin to fulfill that dream. And also as you pray, it's also good to start thinking in the direction of that dream. If your desire is to be a business person, it would mean starting to read about business, learning about what it is to be an entrepreneur. Because the word of God says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So you have to program your mind to start thinking in line of, with your dream. And once you do that, it's also important also to, to get the right, uh, to get mentors. Speak, start, uh, start reading about the lives of people who are doing what you would like to do. Uh, read books about them, attend training. It's very important to get uh, uh, mentors who have been in the same direction where you want to go read about them, link up with them. If there's a network where these entrepreneurs meet, start going to those networks, meet with certain people. Let, I'll ask them deliberately to be mentors in your life. Then from there, it's good to have a, a written plan, a written plan that, would, that will, will help you start birthing your, your dream. And this written plan is something that you can just have a notebook in your handbag, you walk around with it, because a lot of the times you start seeing mental images and things which will give you ideas. And you can start by writing your vision, your mission, your values, and creating some sort of draft of what you want to do. And then after that, start, take action. And at this stage, I'd really like to encourage entrepreneurs. If you listen to the story of Reverend Dr. Wahome, they started with, I think, one timber. It's very important to start with humble beginnings. Most, uh, most of the, the entrepreneurs think, think big, but it's very important to don't be ashamed of humble beginnings. If you're thinking of starting a school, you can even start with two children. These are probably your sister's children. Don't be afraid of humble beginnings. And as you begin, as you begin to pursue the dream, you have, you have to think of growth. And sometimes you may need to go for further studies, read more, empower yourself in that particular field. You cannot be stagnant. You have to you have to be very dynamic, read more, study more, go for additional training uh, so that you, you start growing from where you are. And as your business grows or the, whatever it is you have started, you have to uh, create a spirit of excellence, redefine it, make it better, uh, make it grow, create systems. Again, you heard from the story of Reverend, Reverend Dr. Wahome, she, creates, she has created systems such that she can now live that dream and start pursuing other dreams and doing other things. And so from there, you have to create systems to monitor and evaluate, to improve. You have to go to, you have to network with people so that you actually see other success stories, how you can improve and different things you can do differently and grow. How do you break, you know, the, that transition 
from the dream to reality. How, how do you get yourself um, moving in the direction of your dream? That first step. The first step really requires a lot of courage and boldness. Uh, and, uh, and in fact, we were discussing earlier the, the issue of fear. A lot of people have fear because they, they look at people who are already accomplished in that area and they see themselves as, as dwarfs or as grasshoppers. But the most important thing is to overcome that fear, to be bold and to be courageous. And um, I also mentioned the issue about mentors. It's very important that you share your dream with the right people, not the wrong people. If you share your dream with a person who has a, a grasshopper mentality, they are most likely going to discourage you. They'll tell you, no, this kind of business can only be done by a person like this, like that. So you have to really be very discerning if you're someone who is very prayerful, God will even direct you to share your dream with the right person who will encourage you and even guide you. They'll tell you, okay, it seems like a big dream. I, I'm not so sure about this kind of dream, but why don't you speak to this person? Why don't you speak? You really need to share it with people who will not bring you down, but who will help you go in the right direction and even connect you even maybe through a word that will take you to your next level. I like that. Is it too ever too late? to pursue a dream, you know? Um, is it ever too late to pursue a dream? Can, at, at what point does, does that dream become dead and buried? Okay, I don't think it's ever too late to pursue a dream, whatever age you are. I've read stories of people who've retired, they've actually retired and gone back to school. I read a story of a 74-year-old woman who was getting like her third and her fourth degree. And I think that the, the mind being a muscle, as long as you use it, it will not die. So it is never too late for you to pursue your dream. As long as you're alive and you're, you're strong mentally and physically, it, you should not be afraid to pursue your dream. I think the pressure comes from the society. If you're at a certain age, they expect that you should not be doing this, you should not be doing that. But it's very important as an entrepreneur that you overcome that fear, fear of what people say, fear of what the society expects of you, and just believe that the gift that God has given you, it's supposed to allow God to be glorified through you. So whether you're 70 or 75, if you believe that the gift God has given you is for him to be glorified through you, you should not be afraid to pursue it. Anna Kesselbar, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much for coming to share your wisdom with us. Thank you. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. You've had it from the expert as well as the entrepreneur. If you pursue your dreams, they can actually come true. So do it. Have a great week and God bless. to success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner.